Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are in France, in the French Alps, in search of, as usual, master's and PhD scholarships. So today we'll be looking at master's opportunities at the University of Grenoble. So these are master's opportunities, but they can be upgraded into PhD opportunities as well. So if you do well in them, the opportunities for them to be upgraded into funded PhDs as well. So together we'll be looking at the different master's courses or the pre-doctoral or pre-PhD courses at this university. So bring out your pen and paper. Let's find out how we can study on a fully funded program with a stipend of 8,000 euros at the beautiful University of Grenoble. So this is the official website of one of the scholarships. We'll be looking at two different scholarships at the university. So the first one we'll be looking at today is the MIAI, the scholarship at the MIAI department. That's the Multidisciplinary Institute in Artificial Intelligence. So it's known as the um, MIAI Grenoble Arts Masters two research scholarships. So it's for international students and for those who have undertaken in the past at least four years of university studies. So in a number of universities in Europe, the undergraduate program is just three years. In some other parts of the world, it's four years. So if you've undertaken a four year university course, you qualify for what they call the second cycle or master two program. So if you've not taken up to four years of university studies, then you'll be doing a master one program. So this is for those who have done four years. We'll be looking at the eligibility criteria very soon and you'll see what I mean by four years of university studies. So this scholarship um, covers the tuition, of course, and a stipend of 8,000 euros, as you can see. And the program will begin in September 2022. And for this one, there are 10 spots. And of course, remember, we have another one as well. But we'll be checking this one subsequently. So let's start with the first one at the MIAI um, department. So what are the eligible courses? How do we apply? For this one particularly, the deadline is quite close. It's not too far away on the 29th of April. So if you're interested in this program, I think you just have to put in your application as soon as possible. So it's a two-way application process. So you need to apply both to this scholarship um, board. This is their email address here where you need to apply, send your application. And these are the documents you send to them. A motivation letter stating why you intend to apply for this course, your CV, academic records, and then they said master's application number. So it means you have to apply also for one of the eligible master's course and get a student number. Apply for one of the master's program and get a student number. So there's a second selection process here where I think there's a follow-up on your, on your application. Probably it could be called for an interview or for an extra, for an extra um, assessment or something like that. So these are the eligible master's courses. So most of them, as you can see, are in the area of information technology, of informatics, applied mathematics, cybersecurity, big data, and the rest of them. So to apply, remember, you have to apply for one of these courses simultaneously while applying for the scholarship. So when you put in an application for one of these courses, you get a student number and immediately use that student number to apply and send your documents to these email addresses provided, as you can see here before the deadline. So I don't think you need to wait to get admitted before you submit your scholarship application. So immediately you put in an application and get a student number, just rush quickly and send these documents stated here to these email addresses provided. So I hope that is clear. You can always check here for the applications requirements of these courses. Check their admissions requirements, check what you need to put together 
to be qualified for these courses like here click on admissions and see what you need to submit so you can see here the regular documents that they mentioned the regular uh, motivation letters recommendation letters standardized test in case you have a problem with these english requirements i think it's possible to send them like an attestation letter saying that you actually studied in the english language and ask if they will accept it or better still if you have the total of the is results also send it to them so remember there are dozens of other departments here dozens of other departments here both in the mathematics computer biology and the rest of them so remember the deadline is on the 29th of april for this one so you want to get start working as soon as possible so let's move to the next one so this one is at the perceval 2 so it's also like a departmental research group within this grenoble university like the one we saw earlier is also given a, a grant of 8,000 euros to international students, 8,000 euros to international students. And remember the M2 we talked about, you must have undertaken um, a four-year university program, a four-year university program to be eligible for this, for this course. And these are the eligible courses for this particular one. And I think it has a different deadline. It has a different the deadline for this one is actually in May, the 23rd of May, 2022. So unlike that one where the deadline is in April, this one has a deadline in May. And these are the eligible courses for this scholarship. And as well as the two-way application process, you have to come here to apply for one of the eligible courses here, you can click on any of them here and try to apply. And also come here to apply for the scholarship. So you also come here to apply for the scholarship, like open a portal or something and apply for the scholarship. So remember to check for the applications requirements of the course that you intend to apply for and then for the scholarship. For the scholarship here, they said identity. So probably they're asking for your um, like your passport, your international passport, your national ID, academic records, motivation letters, intended masters. So which of these masters programs are you applying for? Then your application number. The application number you get when you begin an application for one of these courses. So this is one of the courses we just so for instance so you read through check the application process so you know the documents you need to put together check the application process and see also check the english requirement and see how you can get a waiver as well i think they mentioned something about waivers as well so also check there and ask for your check for your competence check for your competence mm -hmm. so that's it guys i hope this was useful so read through these bits of information yourself so i've done a quick summary for the sake of time so if these these opportunities catch your interest take time read through them and put your documents together as usual guys we cannot wait to celebrate you many people have taken advantage of the information provided on this channel and have won big time we know you can win as well, and we cannot wait to shout your name as well. So bye-bye for now. Get to work, and I'll see you at the top.